Meanwhile, CMS students are heading back to the classroom as well in about two weeks. As the district prepares for the new school year, they're encouraging parents to get those free and reduced meal applications filled out. They say this will ensure a smooth process for students ahead of their first day back. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard has more details. Starting today, CMS will open their online free and reduced meal applications for the upcoming school year. For parents that want to take a part of the free and reduced um, lunch pricing for our students, and it is fast, it's uh, secure and trackable. We need them to start submitting these online um, applications. It just makes it easier for just processing um, the students. So the very first day of school, there's no um, glitch when they're coming through. They say this process does not apply to community eligibility provision or CEP schools, which has increased from 68 to 111 schools. But there is no application. It's a direct cert. Those schools that are deemed CEP, all students eat you know, the breakfast and lunch um, at no cost. They say CEP schools are based on factors like temporary housing, SNAP benefits, and Medicaid, which was recently added to North Carolina this year. So that's where we saw the huge bump in the amount of CEP schools for this year. CMS officials say they've nearly doubled their food inventory, including accommodations for special diet needs. They're encouraging parents to get one step ahead, ensuring everything is processed ahead of next school year. And if you'd like to take a look at the menus for the first week of school, as well as some of the new items brought in, you can log on to the CMS website and access NutriSlice.